Under the looming shadow of great power competition, the United States Army is taking a decisive step into a new age of warfare. By the end of December 2025, the service expects to complete the first full arming of its Dark Eagle hypersonic missile battery at Joint Base lewis mccord in Washington. The milestone represents more than a technical success, it signals America's operational entry into the land-based hypersonic era and a profound shift in how the U.S. military intends to project power, deter rivals, and strike at strategic depth in a world where speed, precision, and survivability define the future battlefield. The long-range hypersonic weapon, LRHW, commonly known as the Dark Eagle, has been years in the making, a joint Army and Navy program born from the recognition that conventional strike options were no longer enough to guarantee deterrence against peer adversaries. For decades, the United States relied on its unmatched global logistics, air power, and cruise missiles to hold distant targets at risk. But as China and Russia built layered air defenses, anti-access-slash-area denial, A2-slash-AD, zones, and their own hypersonic arsenals, the Pentagon realized it needed a weapon that could penetrate these defenses, strike swiftly, and remain unpredictable. The Dark Eagle emerged as that answer. Major General Frank Lozano, head of the Army's missile and space programs, confirmed that three hypersonic missiles had already been delivered to the unit, with a fourth undergoing final checks at Lockheed Martin's Cortland, Alabama, facility. Eight additional missiles are expected before year's end, closing out the initial loadout for Battery 1. The delivery marks the culmination of years of testing, production refinements, and industrial coordination between Lockheed Martin, Dynetics, and the U.S. Navy. Two fully successful end-to-end -end flight tests in 2024 validated the system's concept and cleared the path for deployment. The Dark Eagle's architecture is the epitome of joint service innovation. It combines the Navy's two-stage solid propellant booster, adapted from the conventional Prompt Strike CPS, program, with a common hypersonic glide body CHGB, developed by Dynetics under the Lidos Group. Once launched, the booster propels the glide vehicle into the upper atmosphere before separation. From there, the unpowered CHGB coasts and maneuvers at speeds above Mach 5, following a flattened trajectory that defies conventional interception. Unlike ballistic missiles, whose paths are predictable, the glide body can alter its flight path mid-course, making it extraordinarily difficult for enemy radars and interceptors to track or engage. The system's reach, estimated at roughly 2,775 kilometers, gives the U.S. Army the ability to strike command centers, missile batteries, and key logistics hubs from dispersed positions far from enemy defenses. It provides a new kind of operational flexibility, a weapon that is both strategic and tactical, capable of shaping an entire theater campaign or delivering rapid precision effects in the opening moments of a crisis. In a single shot, the Dark Eagle can alter the calculus of escalation. On the ground, the Dark Eagle battery is designed for mobility, concealment, and survivability. Each unit operates four heavy transporter erector launchers, TELs, each carrying two sealed launch canisters. The launchers are mounted on robust M870A4 type trailers and towed by Oshkosh heavy tractors giving them the ability to disperse rapidly across road networks or deploy in austere environments. The sealed canisters protect the missiles from environmental exposure and enable faster reloads, while also enhancing safety in storage and transit. Command and control is handled by a battery operations center linked to the Army's Advanced Field Artillery Tactical Data System, AFATS, allowing seamless coordination with joint and allied sensor networks. The entire system can set up, fire, and relocate within minutes, a shoot-and-scoot approach that makes detection and counterattack exceedingly difficult. For the soldiers operating it, the Dark Eagle represents an unprecedented blend of sophistication and simplicity. It is a weapon that can be launched from a mobile truck yet capable of reaching across continents. Its guidance relies on hardened inertial navigation, likely augmented by satellite updates, and its conventional warhead can deliver devastating kinetic and explosive effects. Details on accuracy and terminal performance remain classified, 
but the intent is clear, to strike swiftly and decisively at the heart of an opponent's warfighting architecture. The strategic implications of the Dark Eagle's fielding are immense. For the first time, the United States possesses a road mobile hypersonic weapon that complements naval and air launched systems. This diversification of delivery platforms adds flexibility to U.S. deterrence posture and complicates adversary planning. A potential opponent must now account for hidden launchers dispersed across vast regions, able to appear, strike, and vanish before countermeasures can be mounted. The mobility of the system enhances survivability, while its integration into joint targeting networks ensures responsiveness and precision. In the Indo-Pacific region, where distances are vast and bases are increasingly vulnerable, the Dark Eagle offers a vital new tool for commanders. From Guam, the Philippines, or northern Australia, U.S. forces could hold Chinese air defense systems, missile launchers, or command centers at risk within minutes. During the 2025 exercise Talisman Sabre in Australia, the Army demonstrated the system's deployability and joint interoperability, underscoring its role in coalition operations. In Europe, the same capability would give NATO forces a rapid response strike option against high-value targets deep inside contested areas, reinforcing deterrence against Russia. The arrival of the Dark Eagle also closes a symbolic gap. For years, China and Russia flaunted their own hypersonic systems, China's DFCF and Russia's Avangard and Kinzho, as proof of technological superiority. The United States, though possessing deep scientific expertise, was slower to transition hypersonic research into deployable weapons. With the LRHW entering operational service, that imbalance begins to fade. America's entry into the field not only narrows the hypersonic race but reshapes strategic stability. Rivals can no longer count on having uncontested speed as a tool of intimidation or deterrence. Still, the path forward will not be easy. Producing hypersonic weapons at scale requires materials that can withstand extreme temperatures and aerodynamic stresses, along with precision manufacturing rarely seen outside of space programs. Every missile is a complex fusion of advanced metallurgy, guidance software, and integrated launch systems. Engineers continue to fine-tune assembly methods and quality control as the Army looks to transition from small-batch production to sustained industrial output. The completion of Battery 1 by December 2025 is thus not the end of the journey but a foundation for the future. Battery 2 and follow-on reload cycles are already planned for 2026, signaling confidence in the production line's maturity. For all its sophistication, the Dark Eagle's greatest strength lies in its strategic ambiguity. It is a conventional weapon that delivers effects once achievable only by nuclear arms, giving commanders new options between diplomacy and escalation. It deters not through mass but through reach and unpredictability. A single battery may hold only eight ready rounds, yet its presence on the battlefield alters the enemy's entire defensive posture. Every radar, command node, an airbase within its range must assume it could be next. That uncertainty alone carries deterrent power. As the first fully armed Dark Eagle battery becomes operational, the U.S. Army stands at the edge of a new strategic landscape. Hypersonic speed compresses time, distance, and decision-making, forcing both friends and foes to adapt. For America and its allies, this marks a return to deterrence through technological edge a reminder that in warfare, the ability to strike faster, farther, and with precision remains the ultimate measure of power. The Dark Eagle's wings are nearly ready, and when they spread, the nature of long-range warfare will never be the same.